a book about me. Well, actually, Olivia the Ostrich, while you are a star indeed, yes, yes, of cinema and ostrich theater, this star book is about the stars in the sky. Oh! Hey, Olivia. Hello, Fuchsia. Oh, well, you know, I am more of an underwater person myself, as you know. As we all know. But even I have to admit, sometimes I like to peek up above the water and look up at the stars. And of course, I enjoy your film work as well, Olivia. Oh, thank you, thank you, Fuchsia. You really make a girl feel like a superstar. Yeah, like a superstar. Now let's be reading stars. What is this? A little zen for little ones? Huh. I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? I think we're about to get zenned out. A young boy lived a few miles outside a big bustling city. He had two loving parents, one, two, who worked hard to give him every opportunity. Now see, they're at the park, but dad he seems to be working on his laptop and mom is sending out some emails and there's a kid sitting there and there's a bird, chip, 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 chip. But the mom and dad constantly worried about him. Well, you know, that's what parents do. They worry about us all the time. They worried when he had a cough. They worried he might be terribly sick. When he rode his bike, they worried he might fall down. Ooh, they are big worry warts. They worried that he ate too much or too little. And they, that, that he slept too much or too little. And, and they were just worried, always worried. Ooh, it is tough to be a parent. That's why you gotta be nice to your mom and dad. They are always so worried about you. Well, enough of all that worrying. One day, the family went to the mountains for a camping trip. Ah, yes, that's going to be fun and carefree. It was spring. Ah, spring. You know what that means. The grass is turning green again. The flowers are coming back. The air is fresh and crisp. The mountain air was crisp, as a matter of fact. The forest smelled of pine cones and the earth the sky was so clear and blue that the boy wanted to reach up and just hold it in its hands. That's how beautiful the moment was. As day turned into night, the boy looked dreamily at the dusk sky. Have you heard the word dusk? That's that magical time between daylight and nighttime. It's not really day anymore, but it's not night yet. It's that in between. It's dusk. He said, Mom, Dad, come sit here with me. Look at this. Okay, let's go look. Oh, but his mom and dad were fretting over the campsite. Oh, son, we'd love to, but we need to set up the tent. We're worried you won't be warm at night. Oh, oh, well, okay. I guess, I guess they do have to get the tent ready before nighttime falls. Well, time went on. And the boy was still staring at the sky. In his home close to the city, he could only see a few stars. And sometimes they were just lights from the airplanes. But now, now out here in nature, he could see the whole universe. Mom and dad, please come look at this. I think we may have a little future astronomer on our hands. This kid loves the sky and the stars. But, well, this time his mom and dad were worried about dinner. Looks like they've got a PB&J station happening over here. Son, we'd love to, but we're making some food. We don't want you to be hungry. Well, that's, that's, that's cool, Dad, but I mean, the kid wants you to see the stars. He's not saying he's starving to death or anything. Well, after dinner, and I bet those PB&Js were really good, the boy looked at the breathtaking night sky and smiled with wonder. He said, Mom, Dad, this is amazing. I don't want you to miss it. Please come. Now, is it time now for them? Oh, no. His mom and dad were getting his clothes ready for the hike the next morning. Come on, you guys. The kid can dress himself. Go and look. Oh, we'll be there soon, son. We need to get your stuff ready for morning. Uh, we want to make sure you have everything you need tomorrow. Oh, boy. They just work, 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 work. They, they, you know, they have a hard time relaxing. That happens with grown-ups and kids. So the boy walked over to his parents. He grabbed their hands. They stopped and looked at him with a puzzled expression. Puzzled as in, what's up, kid? What's going on? 
He pointed at the sky and said, You're so worried about tomorrow. You're so worried about me being hungry or cold. But look at me. I'm having fun. Just look up or you'll miss the stars. That is simple and true. Look at that. Look at what they were missing. The parents finally looked up. And when they did, they saw the reason they went camping in the first place. For the first time in a long time, the boy's parents weren't worried. Just looking at the stars and being in that moment. At the end of the weekend, the family drove back home. Do, 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 do. They talked about all the fun they had. And as they reminisced, meaning reminisce is when you think back, as they thought back, they didn't remember their worries. They talked about hiking and fishing and so much more. They remembered only the good times, even stopping off at the snack bar to get snacks and gas. Even that's a fun memory. And you know what else they remembered? They remembered the stars. And the whole point about remembering the stars, which is based on a Zen concept, but, and, and there's Sanjay, he wrote this book for us. Hey Sanjay! And what he's telling us here is that this whole idea is about being in the present moment. His parents were so worried all the time. They were missing all of the beauty and the whole reason for being in nature because they were worried about getting clothes together and, and getting sandwiches made and putting up the tent. Well, sure, that's important. But what's more important? To remember the stars. So sometimes you have to stop and look up. You have to stop and smell the roses or stop and look outside and look at the beautiful birds that might be singing outside your window. Ooh, 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 ooh. Or yes, or, or the beautiful owl that could be uh, flying by your window. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And also remember to enjoy the croissants. Yes, that's another way of being present. Enjoy your food, enjoy the stars, and just remember, don't get too busy to forget to enjoy the beauty around us. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time.